Well, it's been one week since Detroiters on the east side were placed on heightened alert as police searched for a serial killer. While police believe they have the killer in custody, the fear for those in that community has not subsided. Jermont Terry is live to show us how one group is working to heal those wounds, Jermont. Kimberly, it's easy to tell people to stay alert, but when you are uneasy walking in your own neighborhood, just exactly how do you regain security? One group is saying that it all starts with a little compassion. The corner of Mac and Mount Elliott is a spot where you will find many people just hanging out. But since someone found the body of Tamara Tammy Jones inside a vacant house, then DPD linked her death to a serial killer, the mood here shifted. It ain't like it used to be you know, since this happened. Diane Parker knew Jones. And then the girl Tammy, she was a nice, she was a neighborhood girl. She also knows D'Angelo Martin, the man police suspect is behind this east side killing spree. He too hung out in this area. She was already dead. He was in the park with us. So as the investigation continues, community groups like the Angel Squad. Are you allergic to good food? Are making sure those on this corner are not forgotten. Let them know that they still connected with the human family regardless of whatever their conditions are. The same group who search vacant houses wearing white hazmat suits looking for bodies returned a week later donning blue gloves showing compassion. It makes me feel good because people do care. As their bellies are filled, they were also armed with knowledge. All women should have a whistle and, and pepper spray on them at all times. And items to keep them alert and possibly out of danger while on these streets. We hope they take it seriously, they utilize it, and some lives can be saved as a result of that. Now, Minister Bay with the Angel Squad tells me he's going to be out here, he and his crew, uh, throughout the summer, also going to the other side of town to make sure that many in these communities realize that people really do care because apparently many felt as if the victims in these cases, they were forgotten. Reporting live on the city's east side tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Okay, Jermont.